Tonight it was the Crusher who did the crushing in Atlantic City as Sergei Kovalev defeats Bernard Hopkins by unanimous decision in their light heavyweight title unification bout. And we are making the rounds on location. I'm Brian Campbell alongside Grantland's Rafe Bartholomew and also from Grantland and ESPN.com, Eric Raskin. Guys, we knew this was a 50-50 fight coming in. We knew that it could be either of two scenarios. Was this a scenario that you would have expected, Rafe, to see Sergey come out here and just dominate him like this? Well, actually, Eric wrote a preview for this on Grantland called the 50-50 blowout. He knew it was going to be a blowout. We weren't sure which way, and, and well, we saw it with Sergey Kovalev. Uh, he just dominated from start to finish. When you look at what Bernard Hopkins wasn't able to do, would you say it was, in your mind, do you think it was a little case of survival mode after that first round knockdown when he felt Kovalev's power and really wasn't able to get himself on track offensively? I don't know that it was after just after the first round knockdown that he went into survival mode. It was maybe a little later than that, but certainly the second half of the fight, Bernard Hopkins was looking to last the distance, not get hurt, not get knocked out. He managed to do that. There's some pride there. There's a certain amount of victory, I suppose, there. But really, this was a Kovalev domination from round one once he did knock him down. The two words that really stuck out to me was, was patience and accuracy. What did you take from the way that Kovalev was able to walk in there and just systematically pick him apart it was really the way that he took his time and he didn't rush in every time he touched Hopkins and, and try and hit two three more he didn't want to get countered too much he, he knew that Bernard is crafty has good timing uh, so Kovalev just you know he knew he had all the time in the world because Bernard is not a high output fighter doesn't punch a lot back so he just sort of took his time waited for his shots and just let it let it let, let it go slow <laughs> Eric when you look at uh, what we where we can see uh, from Hopkins do you think that we could see more from him from this or did you see a performance that shows two months shy of 50 with a tremendous career that there's not much more to prove after this i certainly don't think there's much more to prove that doesn't mean he couldn't still beat a lot of guys in the lower end of the top 10 even the middle part of the top 10. Uh, i don't think he looked appreciably worse in this fight than he did in his previous couple but he can't beat this level of guy, and I don't see what the reason for him to continue fighting would be if he can't beat this level of guy. One thing we did learn tonight, if we didn't already think Sergey Kovalev was a star, then tonight he was born. He is who we thought he was coming in, the knockout puncher. Outboxes, outpunches, outlands, and defeats Bernard Hopkins by unanimous decision in Atlantic City.